Greetings, hello, hi. How are you all doing? Welcome in morning, morning. Coleman, good morning to you. Valor, good morning to you and happy hump day. You DJ, good morning. Good morning, good morning. And Lady Iron, hi, hi. How's everyone doing? How is everyone this day? This day, how are ya? Let me see, I am muted. Perfect, all right. Muted in Discord, not in, I mean, you all should be able to hear me. Morning, morning, honk. <laughs> of course, morning, morning. <laughs> It's a it's a fun one. It's a it's just short and sweet, you know. I like it. I like it. I think it'll stay. If you're all fine with that, at least. Um. So, we've been having some issues with Sea of Thieves. Um. At least as it relates to running in. Uh, in tandem with GeForce. It's the first time I'm launching it while also streaming, but I did install a new update last night uh, to my drivers, and it doesn't appear to have helped. Okay, that's good. Because <laughs> it just all of a sudden dropped on my on my uh, screen again. So good. All right, so GeForce is the problem, not the solution. Because when we were talking about maybe three frames per second, it is rough. It is rough, rough, rough. All right, try to kill this real quick. I don't know if it'll make an immediate impact, but... Oh, we got two? Two bots at a time? Oh my gosh. Appreciate that, Coleman. Why don't I just update loot spot right now? Keep, uh, keep forgetting to do this. Blue spot should be updated. So if it happens again, if it happens again, uh, oh gosh, careful, Professor. <laughs> I just added, first of all, welcome, Professor. Uh, I'm glad you put a space in between big and follows because I literally just made that a bannable word uh, for loot spot. So um, now that said, if, if it happens where somebody, you know, puts it as a joke, as opposed to it actually being a, a bot, um, we will be able to unban you, but, you know, it's just one of those things where <laughs> you might be a little confused at first. So, uh, so yeah, I, I just added that. So I'm <laughs> Professor, how are you doing, though? How are you? If I typed, I would like big fellows, that would be entirely different. That's true. That's true. I'm gonna need fall, <laughs> fall owls for my socks and sandal stream. <laughs> fall owls. Box and sandal stream. Who's going to show up to that other than me? Other than me. I mean, of course, I'm going to be there wearing the appropriate attire. All right. Uh, let's see if this made a difference or not. Not yet. I might need to reload my game. Oh, man, this is painful. I just don't, I don't understand why it's so bad. I tested out last night. It was pretty smooth after the game ready update. Um, but it doesn't appear to have fixed the problem. Let me just restart the game. Uh, you might not be there as I'd stream at the same time you do. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I'll be there in spirit. What is that content? Just a pair of socks and sandals sitting in a hot tub? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, this is restarting. Restarting, and I'll, I cheat. I don't know if you're in here or not, but I will join you in just a sec. I'm trying to get this to be smoother again. Just you. <laughs> good maybe it's just the starting screen I don't know 
You'll get my follow, but that's as much support as I can muster. Maybe an auto host, <laughs> but that's pushing it. Yeah, maybe the menu is just going to be rough. I'm not sure. I did kill G-Force, though. That seemed to work yesterday. Chugging coffee right now sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, hopefully I'll be there in uh, in just a minute. I want to try to get this... Um, try to get into the game, or at least, you know, into the menu. I do have about five different pairs of sandals, so there'd be a little variety. Oh, okay. Five different pairs. I just sent you an invite, Cheeto. Um, <clears throat> I will. Things seem to be a little bit better now. Stabilized. So go ahead and hop in. I'm already in the Discord, but I'll, I'll unmute myself. Hopefully that'll be better. Well, well, well. How are the turntables? I'm like, I'm like riding high on this caffeine right now. Let me tell Ooh, you. I stayed nice. up way too late last night because I just, I purchased, uh, have you ever played RimWorld? Uh, I haven't. I've heard of it though. Man, I just got that game a couple days ago. I am absolutely addicted. Like head over heels, cannot stop. Wh um, what type of game is it? Uh, it's kind of like a real real world strategy so essentially you're you're, hmm. you're you have like a three three people crash land on the world and you have to kind of make them survive but it's just like an ai learning base builder where and any you literally control every aspect of their lives like it's 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 crazy how in-depth this game is huh. but i am just like completely addicted which is strange because i'm usually just not not terribly into those types of games but uh it's got me, man. It's got me. Huh. Nice. Well, I mean, I guess it's good. It's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was worth the money. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, like I said, I am, I am feeling it today. Yeah. Balan, have you ever played uh, RimWorld or anybody else for that matter? Sounds like a game Balan might enjoy. Anybody that's, uh, did you ever play like the Civilization games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was okay. I was a big fan of Civilization. Um, it's a it's a little different than than those because those are more like like turn based board games. Um, yeah. Where this is kind of like, um, did you ever have, have like an like a like an ants? What are they called? Like an ants maze when you were a kid? Like yeah, like like a little sandbox and you put <laughs> ants in them and you kind of like uh, feed them and like build a colony. It's more like that than it is Civilization. As crazy okay. as that sounds, as weird it is, but like that's that's kind of more realistic. Is it that type of perspective? An ant farm, yeah, 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 that's what it is. Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. You're kind of like you're you're essentially God, um, okay. and and you can make them. It's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but, uh, it's real time strategy game like Command and Conquer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, more like Command and Conquer. Gotcha. Yeah, I when when you said like ant farm, for some reason my thought was like Fallout Shelter. I don't know if you ever played that. Um, they made that like um, mobile game. Uh, before Fallout okay, 4 ca came out. I feel like I heard of that, but I didn't, okay. I didn't play it, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, it, it, it got me because my first, my first two people, um, like my first two colonists, I guess you could say, just the Crash Landers, they fell in love, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, these guys are like just making it work on a desolated island or <laughs> desolated planet. Build, built a little place for them, they were having a great time, and then some bandits came in, killed one of them, and I was like, oh, well, that sucks. And I didn't realize that the other one would take it so harshly. So oh. he went on like this psychotic episode and just like wandered into the woods and didn't come back. And it just like, it, it like just blew my mind. So now I'm just addicted. Wow. Is that, is that how everybody's game starts? Or is that like 
kind of random. random like yeah wow it's super random you have like an ai that's essentially like a storyteller and that storyteller decides like if weather events are gonna happen or if like people are gonna come in and attack you or, or anything really wow Alrighty. Are you in? Because I'm still loading. Ooh. I just got 50k gold. I'm, I'm in now. Okay, nice. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to make sure there's no G-Force running. That was the key yesterday. I don't know. Something's going on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, an ant farm. Did you ever have an ant farm, Professor? I, I never did, but definitely saw him. Um, let's see. Sounds like another game, Black and White. Never heard of that one either. It's one game where you actually play God and Command Worshippers. I like Black and White a lot. I don't even know that I heard of that game. Yeah, they. I think they just like they really dug into the God concept because they actually just recently updated a uh, a new DLC called Ideology, where essentially you have to create your own religion. Um, so you can create like you can have like your colonists be like blood worshippers if you want to, and just make it super dark, but yeah, it's super weird. Okay. Is I, I somehow missed the boat on that one. All right, I am in the game. My frames are a little bit lacking from yesterday, but um, it's at least much better than it was when I first launched the game. Nice, nice. Yeah. Wish I had an answer for this. I really don't know what's going on. My uh, my GPU is not maxed out right now. At about ninety percent, and CPU is at about five percent. So, might be like the first tall tale we did. Your favorite? You uh, it was made in two thousand one. Were you born yet? Yes, I was born, Lady Iron. I'm an old man now. I'm thirty. Never had one, was always worried it would break, and ants would be everywhere. Oh, good point. Hey, what's going on, True Celt? Fierce. It's been a fun run. Oh, is it ending, True Celt? I hope not. I hope not, my friend. How are you doing today, though? I graduated in 2001, that hurts. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, it's doing the menu slow down for me today. That's what it is. As soon as I tab out and back in, it's mostly stabilized. Let's see. Yeah, menu slowdowns today. What the heck? Why? We've had ants in the living room for the last few weeks. Oh, Valinor, I'm sorry to hear that. Ants are bothersome. Hard to get rid of. Start with the company I currently work for in 2001. And 2001, not, not the best year. I think we can all agree. I wasn't I wasn't even in the States yet. Oh really? What what year did you move? Uh seventeen years ago, actually. About seventeen years ago last month, actually. Okay. I was never sure the uh the actual date. I do remember us laughing about uh your green card uh in college and you're like, yeah, it's overrated to be a citizen anyway, so yeah, I should really get on that. I think I am definitely <laughs> eligible, but uh, I should still have my green card. <laughs> Ooh. Better Kitty made it through surgery and should be coming home in the next couple of days. Good. Good, True Kelt. Glad to hear that. Five in 2001. Ah, Coleman. 
Yeah, I was uh, 10. I was 10 at that point. Of course, as Americans in 2001, everybody, you know, it's always like, where were you when 9-11 happened? You know, and for most of us, we were in school. Very interesting, like, like, not, not, uh, scary is not the right word. When you're 10, you can't really comprehend that, like, exactly what happened. I remember our, our teacher took us to the computer lab so that we would, basically, she was letting us know what had happened. And she asked one of my classmates, like, okay, what'd you think of what you saw while you were there in the computer lab? And the kid was like, I thought it was pretty cool. And the teacher was like, are you serious? And kind of like blew up on him. And he's like, what? I, I like going to the computer lab. <laughs> he's like, that's that's just how 10-year-olds are. Like, we just didn't understand. We couldn't comprehend what was going on. So. And then for the rest of the day, they wheeled the TV in on the cart. And we talked about things that we had no business, like, having any sort of expertise on. It's kind of one of those things where like you have to have the conversation even though even though you know it's it's it may not obviously it made an impact because you, you can still remember it and you can still think about it today right but yeah at the time like you, you had no business understanding it but you still you still had to have that conversation yeah for sure <laughs> thank you for making me feel really old coleman <laughs> Yeah, 20 years with the same company. That's that's a that's a congrats on that one, Balinor, for sure. All right, I'm going to check make sure it was V-Sync, right? That's what we had changed at one point. Yeah, turn on V-Sync and then turn it back off, honestly. Yeah, I wonder if I needed to leave the menu to have it actually save probably. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers to us, well aged. <laughs> that was a rough couple of days. She broke her leg and had to go to the animal ER hospital. Oh no. Unfortunately, isn't fixable. We had to have the foreleg amputated. I oh no. So I mean, I've, I've heard that those those types of things, like the animals can get used to it and have like pretty much a normal life. Hopefully, hopefully that's the case with your cat. I don't know. I think I think the game just being picky today. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I, I would help load the ship, but it's it's like Every time I open a menu, it is rough. I just have to tab out and tab back in. I feel like my frames are probably around 30 right now. <laughs> Normally, I play this game around 80, so I just I don't understand why it's being such a turd. Steaming turd. Let's give a cheers of good vibes over to True Kelt. I was on lawn mowing detail in the army. I saw the second plane hit. Holy cow, really? Cheers, True Kelt, on your uh on good vibes, healing vibes for your your uh your precious cat. Hopefully things go well. Yeah, for real, that's actually I'm sorry to hear that. And that would be tough for sure. I uh, I don't know the lifestyle of the cat, but like I know if one of my dogs had to have an, a leg amputated, it would be very difficult. Very difficult. A lot of adjusting. I guess I'll go vote for our tall tail. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> 
Uh, what do we got here? This one is called ah. Captains of the Damned. Oh, -ho. sounds scary. Uh, there was a weird time. Classes let out if we wanted, and I was watching the news in the cafeteria for most of the day. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's easier or harder when you're younger, you know? Like, if you were in high school at that point, like, I don't. I like I said, I don't know if that'd be easier or harder. To do what you do, to plunge into the icy depths and face that hatred that dwells below the waves. That is not easy. But in the dark, you found a Hey, what's going on, Steph? Cheers. Welcome in. Mr. Gibbs, you are no longer my only guest. Ah, we meet again. This fine woman is being... I know a cat with three legs that's continued to have a great life, and I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. That's good. Hope I have leg surgery back in March. It is so hard. Good news is that pets are so adaptable. They're so, um... They're so, uh, like, stoic, too, you know? Things bother them, and they just act like nothing is wrong. And then they just get used to it. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> what do we do to deserve animals, you know? I'm gonna end up missing part of the stream. No worries. No worries, DJ. Finally getting my taxes done because I'm a functional adult. Nice. Glad to hear it. About five miles from the Pentagon, I was at home eating breakfast watching the crap going down on TV when I heard the plane hit the Pentagon. Wait, you heard it? Oh my gosh. I had to pay $6,000 dollary dues for one of my dogs to have knee surgery to repair his ligament. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's rough. I've worried about that because uh, Doberman are pretty common. Like, it's not the ACL, but whatever the equivalent of an ACL is. Uh, apparently, they tear those pretty often. I've been a little worried about that. So far, been we've been very fortunate. Yeah, JD's, JD's dog uh, tore their... ACL equivalent actually while they were just really? like playing around in the yard. Yeah, it's it, it did it was it um was it just all of a sudden limping all the time or Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. They took it in and said he, he had torn it so uh I think they I think they ended up just putting him in like a I think they put him in a cast. I might be crazy, but I'm pretty sure they huh. did. And then he uh just kind of limped around for a couple of weeks and then he was good, so Yeah. I, I don't think it. I don't think it ended up needing surgery. Is the saying here? Oh, it didn't need surgery. That's good. So. Are we taking bets? See how much sleep Steph actually got due to Valheim addiction. <laughs> Was it a TPLO surgery? I had to do that a year and a half ago with my dog. Oh wow! Was that Drake that had to have that too, Coleman? PC just restarted, so I missed everything that was said. Oh, we were just talking about uh, hoping your hoping your pet has a full recovery. Uh, I mean, as full of a life and recovery as can be after having an uh, amputation done. So, but uh, we also know that your you know your cat's got it good to have you as its owner. You know, we also know that. Why did we just now get the compass? Weird. Hey, what's going on, Nidalicious? Do you know think I had a dream about troll hide? Yeah, you probably did. Cheetah playing on a different account was his name Hidden Treasure. So, uh, DJ, I what I did is I have a, a setting on that replaces the gamer tags. So it just gives a random, like, generic name. Uh, so so it, even even between missions, like, if if there's any sort of loading that happens in the game, uh, our names will change. So um, I think if I hit tab here, you'd see mine is, like, 9cat Nura up there in the top right corner. Kind of a cool little feature, though. Um, this kind of hides 
gamer tag so that you know say we were getting griefed by somebody um then that way you know all of you viciously loyal friends of mine don't go and like dox that person you know just for things like that yeah it is much choppier today than yesterday balinor i don't know what's going on i i i thought g-force was the answer um I updated my game ready drivers last night and it seemed like it was running really smooth and then I try it out today and it's just like unplayable. So I might have to drop out and come back in. I'm not sure. I don't know how that would affect the tall tale. I think we would just restart it. Okay. I don't think it would be a big a huge issue at all. Yeah, I'm I might try to, to kill it. It's it's like even tabbing out and tabbing in doesn't work every time. If you leave, I think I can just, I think I can just invite you back into the same lobby, honestly. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine it would kick me out completely, but. Yeah, it shouldn't. Way, it really matter. I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. All right, friends. Sorry about this. I really don't know. Maybe if I restart the Xbox app too. I was trying to look for some solutions. Somebody had said killing G-Force and that seemed to work yesterday. Let's see, we can try to run kill some other things. Maybe I'll kill Steam. Since I'm playing on, on Game Pass, I don't really need Steam running. Alright, we'll try it again. was young when when it happened blew it out chasing our other dog around the backyard plus he has adinson's weird about him being overly stressed during surgery oh okay what is uh what is adinson's or addison's i said adinson's <laughs> what is addison's professor i have to keep a young pup like that S still while he recovers mine was nine at the time he's running around like a pup now <laughs> yeah i i feel the same way about that that stress coleman uh, my doberman is 10 and uh, she'll be 11 actually pretty soon. And she is, uh, oh my goodness, just way too, way too high strung for being that old of a dog. Doberman only lived to be, you know, 14 usually. So she's, she's pretty old and uh, she just still acts like she did when she was two. Trying to relaunch the game now. Adrenal gland doesn't work properly, so he needs monthly shots and daily prednisone. Oh, okay, okay. Prednisone, that's gotta be... How does that work? Because can't they build up a, a resistance to prednisone? Or kind of a tolerance, I suppose? Dog is a doper. Probably getting pretty strong, though. No, doesn't seem to be too much better. Man, all this, uh, all this dead time has really made me spend all of my in-game currency. <laughs> What'd you end up buying? Uh, I, I bought a nice little dress, a new peg leg. Okay. Um, uh, somebody amputated my hand. Cool. <laughs> you got a nice hook. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to join your game now. See if it'll let me. Showing me, okay, I'm in a loading screen. Nice, nice, nice. Should be, should be coming in. Um, he almost died as a pup before we knew. That vet costs, vet visit costs 3,000. Holy crap. Or, wow. What is, I, this is, this is, I guess I'm showing my ignorance here, Professor. I don't know, like, what, what is the risk of that? Like, how do, 
how is that potentially life-threatening? Redecor redecorated my base this morning and added a bunch of people's houses as markers so I don't keep getting lost in the woods. <laughs> Breadcrumbs, as DJ calls them. I'm back in. I probably should have put my food in a barrel before I did that. I had a pineapple and some other oh, this decent, guy. decent foods. Oh, well, should be okay. All right. All right. I am running around and it is still, yeah, it's not great. It's not great, but maybe it'll be a little better. Comfort nine now. Nice, Steph. That's way better than I've ever had. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work today. I don't know what's going on, but like I'm I'm just like I'll tab out of the game and I run around and it's OK. And then just randomly I hit a, a wall of frame drops like to the point where I I would walk right into the water. Oof. Yeah, I don't I'm know if you can the stream now. No, that's pretty yeah. Rough. If I tab out, it's it's relatively OK for a few seconds and then it seems like it. Yeah, it's just all of a sudden it's random now. It's like um, I tried this before. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again. Um, I'll try drop in the resolution as well as the um graphics. I don't think that this is gonna matter, but yeah, no, it, it doesn't doesn't look like it would be a graphical issue just based on the fact that. I assume your computer can handle whatever this game's gonna throw at it, honestly. Yeah. Do the V-Sync thing again. I'll try that again as well. Um, I was gonna maybe try the... Try changing the resolution. The resolution was strange, though. It was not letting me change it last time. So maybe I could... one of those things where you could honestly try changing from full screen to windowed, borderless, and then back. Just yeah. to see if it clicks back into place, but Yeah. I mean it's a known it's a known bug with the game, so it's kinda of one of those things where you just have to keep playing around and hope you get luck of draw. Yeah. Hmm. You try a frame rate lock? Oh. Um. Well, <laughs> while I'm trying to think about this, I uh, I need to run to the restroom. I uh, I think I'm gonna throw on a BRB. Are you cool, um, Cheeto, for a few? Oh yeah. All right. Sorry. Sorry, friends. No, I'll be good. back. I'll be back soon. Introducing the main event, Loots Magoot! Yeah. That was weird though, because his his little flashback he had, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> My guy's gonna have a, I want him to have <laughs> Did you guys see that? Jackie just died right in front of us. You go to the mines, bring food. I got I got my mushroom, my purple mushroom, uh, which sounds a little bit naughty. Also, I have a feeling Covert's gonna lead me right, right to a Reaper. He's gonna be like, cold, cold. And then I turn towards the Reaper, warmer, warmer. And he just starts getting like, burning hot. There's a Reaper roaring at my face. Warning, scam alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for a penis enlargement nano gel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only test and proven methods for penis enhancement is still the Aerosex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. V clicks rapidly. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Just put your Seamoth right on the ground. He thinks it's a rock. He's so stupid like that. They're so dumb. But actually, the PDA does tell you they're stupid. 
I got my AirPods, so I'm listening to you at work. It's so much better than the music they play all day. Really? Is my voice that soothing? Is it that soothing to you? So you guys didn't get to see what I saw. Oh! What's happening? I'm about to get yeeted by the ghost. Oh my gosh. I I'm 100% dodging this dude. Sick. So, you like politics? No. <laughs> no. No. Actually, yeah, we do. We do try to stick to things everybody can agree on in this chat. Uh, religion and politics. Those are our two that we know everybody can agree on. So we make sure to discuss them at length, actually. Yeah. We have the neighbors below me banging and screaming at like 2 a.m. So I didn't sleep until like 4 a.m. Um, when you say banging and screaming... Are we talking like... Are we talking like... Banging? Sorry, that's where I... That's where I first went. Uh, with my... My, uh... Where my head went, at least. Um, bumping uglies. You know. 1%. This thing goes from 15% to 1% when I blink. I swear. It means no more blinking. I just play like this all the time. What did you guys think if you stopped into my stream and I was just doing this? You didn't know who I was? Would you guys stay? Okay, let me go donate this rusty cog, which sounds kind of like a... Uh, well, sounds like a sex move, but it's fine. The, the museum will take it, regardless of how it sounds. Not the same guy anymore. Hasn't been for a long time. What just happened? All right, how's my wood situation looking? Don't answer that, okay? I realized how that sounded after I said it. Don't answer that. Direct hey, nerd. I'm dead if he uh, comes back from this. Got it. See ya, nerd. <laughs> oh, I think he's coming back. Oh, come on. I'm, I 100% parried that. that. Same thing. His parry is not. Where'd you go? They're pretty uh, squirrely little... What in the heck was that? That stalker was moving like 300 miles an hour. What is going on in this place? Uh, I won't make anybody play it, but yeah, I do try to be an influencer or, you know, whatever they do. You guys. Wow. He does a heck of a lot of damage, though. Oh, and he healed. He healed? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. V. V is your winner. By technical knockout. Y your money, take it and get out of here. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I saw Henry Cavill without a shirt on in Man of Steel, and I was like... Nice, <laughs> you know, and I'm happily married to a woman. I'm just saying I dude's dude's got it going on, you know, second choice. OK, I'm back. Yep. I am. Uh... <laughs> oh, hey, what's going on, Bonnie? How you doing? Not Bonnie. Sorry, I'm not Bonnie. Welcome in. Cheers. How have you been? I was also hoping maybe the game would just magically fix itself while I was gone. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> Could be the server. Yeah, I suppose that's possible, True Kelt. Um, although oh, yeah, I don't think... the fact that I'm, I'm hosting, actually. <laughs> 
I mean, I wouldn't think so, but I, I don't know. Oh, you built a part tree house, Steph? That's pretty awesome. Try enabling triple buffering. Oh, triple buffering. Is that, <laughs> is that what I should do? Cool. Kind of do my own little thing, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, Steph. Uh, do your thing. Do your thing. The size of the beard. Yeah, it's pretty weird to look at now, isn't it? Wait, which one? Which part got yeeted in there? Something got yeeted in that video? This let me change. Will not let me change the resolution. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, there is quadruple buffering too, uh, Balinor. I'll try that. I tried locking it at 60. I actually might, might try locking it at 30. That's going to make me cry a bit, but I'd rather play the game than not. <laughs> You got blisters on my fingers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pause video. Real loot stream right here. Things were getting interesting. Was that was that right? We got a new follow while I was gone too. Sorry about that. Only one Mike C. Appreciate the follow. Cheers. You talk about Henry Cavill like your DJ talks about Jason Momoa. I mean, dude's got it going on, you know? That's all I'm saying. I, I love Jason Momoa. <laughs> game recognizes game, exactly. <laughs> I remember watching, there's a TV show back in the day, uh, if you've ever watched Stargate, there was like a second series, Stargate Atlantis, and Jason Momoa hmm. was in it. So I remember like like growing up watching him just be this like badass in this huge sci-fi series that it was a uh, like a part of my childhood. Nice. And then and then like the next thing that I saw him in was Game of Thrones, and I was like freaking out because this like one of my favorite <laughs> characters from a, a, a like a series that not many of my friends had ever watched was like in it, and I was like, holy cow, this is the greatest thing ever. So I'm so happy that his career took off from that. Yeah, that's awesome. I I didn't know he was in uh, Stargate Atlantis. I've never watched it myself. Coleman says Stargate was fantastic. Took a break because my mental health got a bit bad, but all good now and pretty stable. How are you doing on this fine day? Well, first of all, Bonnie, welcome back. It's great to chat with you again. Um, and uh, if there's anything we can do to help, uh, just let us know. You know. Uh, but I'm doing pretty dang well. I my I'm doing better than my game is. Uh, for some reason, my game is just it. It has nothing to do with the um like my PC not being able to handle this game. It's just not wanting to run properly for some reason. So uh, getting tons of like frame drops. Um, I was actually gonna change this back to recommended. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference or not, but. <clears throat> Man crushes on a sliding scale, only two sides, Henry Cavill and Jason Momoa. More dipped into the Momoa side at the moment. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, how's it going, Spooky Deer? Sea Thieves Reddit recommendation I just read said triple buffering. Okay. Yeah, hopefully, uh, maybe I could change the frame rate back. It's, I don't know, I'm spoiled now. I used to play on 30 FPS because I was a console player for so long, but... Immediately changing it to 60 FPS. Uh, oh, wait. No, oh, it's stabilized. Okay. Actually looks pretty good. You might be a hero, Balinor. Potentially. Yeah. Stargate Atlantis was my introduction to Momoa. Homer sounds. <laughs> Beckett was the, uh, was the medic, right? It was the Scottish medic. Pretty sure. DJ, do you Maybe know? He was Irish. I remember him having um, one of those accents, either Irish or Scottish. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you're, you're saying what Coleman's talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think I'm ready. Um, after a very short delay. 
Uh, do you have to ex do we have to accept the quest again because you left, or what do you think happens there? Um, I've got the still... items in my radio menu, so we should be good. Alright. I will try to read this here. If you if you uh, want to try to sail the ship, I will I will read our pages here. Yeah, hey, Captain. <laughs> Chronicling of Captain Jack Sparrow. Deeds Adventures in the Heart of Man. Of the Man. A journal by Joshimi Gibbs. Sometimes this font is just hard to read. Um, this is a journal filled with the fondest recollections of I, Joshimi Gibbs, a scoundrel whose best years have been spent living the pirate's life alongside the freest man on the water. Jack Sparrow is a soul unlike any other, scheming, lying, and always plotting something. He's the most honest pirate I've ever met. As soon as he steps foot in a room, you can tell exactly what he's after. You're just never sure how he plans to get his hands on it. With a deck beneath his feet and black sails billowing overhead, there's nowhere Jack can't go until now. If Jack's to trust those who sail these waters, he'll need more than just my word. That's why it has to be you, not me, that finds him and shows him the Sea of Thieves is a world practically made for the likes of Jack Sparrow. These tales of his will prove it. The Black nice. Pearl. Jack's most faithful companion in the fastest ship on the seas. Bearing the captain from one horizon to the next ever since he was a lad. The Pearl has been through many trials. Lost, sunk, and found again. A fine vessel. Tortuga. A town founded on the notions of freedom and revelry. A pirate paradise. Just so long as you can handle the smell. Jack's made a few fast friends here. There are a few that he'd run away from just as fast, too. The raid on Isla Tesoro. A port full of treasure and plenty of sea dogs racing to claim it. The pirate's life in a nutshell. Jack took advantage of the greed of other pirates, sneaking by the lot of them to take what he desired. Isla de Muerta. Hector Barbosa, Barbosa betrayed Jack and stole the pearl to seek an ancient treasure here. It cursed him with eternal life, though one would be hard-pressed to, hard to call it, <laughs> truly call it living. Fate will always save its harshest wrath for the greediest of souls. The dead man's chest. Jack sought the heart of Davy Jones, to whom he owed a blood debt. Destroying the heart would be a release from his debt, leaving Jack free to sail as he pleased. How many uh, how many different movies are we going through here? This seems like several of them. I feel like that's all of them, yeah. Okay. Tia Dalma. A strange lady, sure enough, but a powerful ally. She's helped out Jack more times than I can count. When Jack's blood debt to Davy Jones was due to be paid, we set out upriver to seek his old friend's wisdom. Calypso. Oh, Calypso is the sea. Bound by pirates who look to tame her. Her wrath, was, when she was released, nearly doomed us all. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great. I, I, I thought we didn't have to go through the portal, honestly, and then uh, I passed the portal, and then the compass still still kind of pointed towards it, so... Oh, okay. No worries. I, I really hope this is the right way. Seems like we're going all right. <laughs> um, Beckett was the Scottish doctor, Coleman says. Nice. If this works, socks and sandals <laughs> stream for all. Wait, I missed the first part of that. I'll ban the entirety of Twitch. <laughs> I have a hold on things, but thank you so much for offering help. It means a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Anytime. If you can do it in a delicious, I highly recommend it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Make the world a better place. All that abuse of power. Um, I've not played Ark, Steph. I haven't. I have access to it uh, since it's on Game Pass, or at least it was. This looks eerily similar. Yeah, I didn't just start off the first one again, did I? I don't think so. Wouldn't think the portal would open if we weren't supposed to go True. to it. True. It wasn't open yesterday, was it? No. Man, there are a lot of dang pages. 18 pages? I was only through half. I'm just giving you a little recap on the on Jack Sparrow lore. Yeah, probably a good thing for me since I've only seen the first movie. These have some spoilers for the movies. It's all good, Coleman. I, I know, like, none of this is blowing my mind. I'll put it that way. Like, I, I feel like I've heard of some of this stuff. Didn't it? It did do the same thing, didn't it? Pretty sure, yeah. 
Coleman, you don't know about any glitch for this uh, quest, do you? <laughs> Kettle's currently broken. Oh no! Towards the uh, towards the portal as well. Yeah. Just a transition. Okay. Okay. So this is this is expected. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice this guy last time. <laughs> Feels bad. Arc is really hard, especially alone. Is that right, Michelle? First of all, welcome in. And second of all, uh, yeah, I've never, I've never played it. I, it looks interesting. But I will say, I watched some, I watched somebody play it somewhat recently. Uh, I think it was Junior Sauce Bottle was playing it recently, and I was like, oh, this isn't quite what I expected. Viking Arc, that's what I've been saying. Yeah, Nidalicious has been saying that. Uh, but I think every, didn't you say every game was Arc, just with a different skin? playing God of War and thought if I want to do this much reading I'd pick up a Russian novel <laughs> there are some of these games they do they I mean they give you more lore than you can even the Witcher is kind of like that if you were to read everything in the Witcher or like Skyrim all the books they put in that um you'd be reading for a while are you telling me you wouldn't normally just read the lusty Argonian maid oh god oh, we can fall off the ship <laughs> Oh, I, I've read The Lusty Argonian Maid, both chapters. Uh, yeah, what a tale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what lifts her tale. What a tale indeed. <laughs> Arc is really hard solo. Okay, gotcha. Well, I probably, I don't know that I would, I don't know that, I don't know that I'd give it a shot solo, to be honest. But, gave up pretty quick. Everything is Arc and everything is Sims. Okay, everything is Arc and Sims. What combination of games is Sea of Thieves? Um, some, well, like one part uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. At least when Louis like plays it. I have been another Pirates of the Caribbean video game. I feel like I've played it. I think there's a Lego one. Yeah. I don't know if that's the only one, but... The Bell of Friendship, to go along with the Honk of Friendship. It's Pirate Arc. <laughs> One part, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's just legitimately a At World's End video game. Oh, okay. It's for the Nintendo and Xbox. All right, yeah, I definitely played that back in 2007. Oof. Lost my frames again, just randomly. Uh, there's a lot of cinematics going on right now. It makes sense. Yeah, true. I might, I might do the, I might do the the gross thing. I might, uh, I might lock the frame rate down to thirty. Yeah, I don't like it at all. But if it, if it allows us to play, I'm, I'm willing to do it. So spoiled now. Like I said everything on console is thirty FPS, or at least it used to be. Now I see thirty FPS, and I just gag a little bit. I remember the first time I played, uh, cause obviously I used to play Xbox more than PC year, years ago now. Probably when I was in college, I would yeah. only play Xbox just because I didn't have the money to really keep my my computer up. For sure. Um, and the first time I played Rocket League on my computer comparatively to my <laughs> Xbox, oh my god, dude, like it was... It, it felt so good. I, 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 can't, I can't even, like, compare... I don't think I've ever felt that good in my life. <laughs> <laughs> One part GTA. That's fair, too. Is it bad I don't really notice frames? Um, no, I think, honestly, I'm not a frame snob. Um, it's, I think there's anything... only like select games, though, right? Like... Yeah. I think, I think it depends on the type of game, um, and it is more like, for me, once I get over 60 FPS, I don't really care that much. Um, I know some people really try to boost their frame rate, and they try to get it as high as they can. They're like, oh, I want it to max out, you know, on whatever my monitor's refresh uh, rate is. I don't think I would be able to tell you the difference between, like, uh, like 80 FPS and 144. Yeah, I, I just yeah. don't think I would... Uh, the only reason I know that I normally run Sea of Thieves in 80 is because I've I was just curious, like, oh, what's my frame rate in this game? So I opened up my my frame counter, 
and it's usually in the it 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 hover it like stays pretty stable in the low 80s. Sometimes it goes higher, but. Now, Sea of Thieves is not a super demanding game, so it's kind of kind of strange that it's just bugging out of me today. Should we? Do you think we should park and explore, or do you want to keep kind of sailing Maybe around? Can we? Do we have know. that it's option? Like, I'll try. Like, I'll try lowering the, the. We got some docks yeah, here. Yeah, we're one hundred percent stopping. I didn't. I don't know if there's anything uh, important. I mean, we still have the compass, so I'd assume. Oh, that's true. It looks like. Yeah, it wants us to continue ahead. Yeah. Um, the the DVD Blu-ray. I, I I can't remember who just who just put that on there. That's actually a good a good point because, um, a, a buddy of mine swears by Blu-ray and any any new movie that like kind of comes out on Netflix or, um. Really, really anything at this point especially during during quarantine when you can't go to the movie theaters yeah he, like refuses to watch it on uh streaming platforms he like has to find a, a blu-ray <laughs> or really? a movie before he can watch it for the first time and uh it's been really killing him during quarantine without any any uh movies coming out in theaters because he's like they're not coming out on blu-ray anymore like <laughs> yeah is is blu-ray 4k or is it something in between like DVD and 4K? I think, I think I think some are 4K, but not all. And it's something it's it's something between most of the time, I think. Hmm. Okay. But then there's also like the like some people say that the um, streaming platforms have a little bit of leverage to like the resolution that they stream on where the blu-ray is exactly what like the the director or the movie producers wanted the the, the film to be yeah produced with or something like that hmm. the scaling and the resolution remember how much s the pc master race got from console peasants when they claimed that 60 fps is necessary and peasants claimed that you don't need more than 30 fps yeah i i will say this um as an ex bro for most of my life, my my argument was always like, oh, oh my gosh, holy crap, Tan, are you kidding me right now? Coming in with a big old foxy raid, holy crap, how is everybody doing? My goodness, welcome. You came in with Tan, so I know that you're all awesome people. All right, I know that you're all awesome. Welcome in, Poppy. And Sevs, Tan, how are you doing today? And BC, very welcome back. Um, well, like I said, you guys came from Foxy. Uh, you came in with the Foxy raid, so I know you're all like super legit. Tan is awesome. Tan, what was uh, what was on the docket today? Welcome in, Field of Shadows. Lux, we'll appreciate that follow. Cheers. Uh, Cheeto, I might need you to take the wheel. I know we're not moving super fast, but I'm, uh... Got it, Captain. <laughs> Want to say hello to some friends. So, those of you that are new here, I am Lutz Magoots. It's awesome to have you. Um, Tan is awesome. Uh, seriously, super appreciate that. Uh, Tan for dropping in. Um, Tan and I met, uh, I think we were both playing Stardew Valley. It's been a little while since, uh, since the first time Tan surprisingly raided me, so... Um, but I, I got to see some of Tan's streams. So I know that she is just awesome. Appreciate you bringing your community in here with you uh, with you today. My name is Lutz Magoots. We're playing some Sea of Thieves with one of my uh, college friends, Hot Cheeto Love. And uh, we, we hadn't checked out the Pirate's Life Tall Tales. So that's what we're doing today. Um, that's what we're doing today. This is the third Tall Tale in the series of five. So. Yeah, welcome in. Seriously, awesome to have all of you. Doing, doing awesome, Tan. Doing awesome. We, uh, we've been playing a combination of Valheim and Sea of Thieves over the last, like, week or so. But I was on the last Lutz raid. That's how I met you guys. That's true. That's true. And now we got Steph into Valheim, too. So <laughs> Valheim's just such a good game. We've been having lots of fun with it. We've got a, uh, a dedicated community server so people can hop in and hop out, you know, just at will. Uh, I'm just continually impressed with what people are able to build. It's just 
It's been awesome. I, I'm like I, I've said this before, but I'm super I'm super happy that we've uh, we got that thing going and people have been having fun with it. I've been having a blast. So. Corrupts absolute. I corrupt, I corrupt people. What do you do in this game? So, Poppy, this is uh, this is a pirate game. Um, if you have ever wanted to be a pirate, I think it's probably the best pirate sim out there. I mean, I can't think of any better ones, but uh, you can kind of do, um, you know, you can do your own thing. You can play with friends in a crew. There are three different ship sizes. Uh, we are on a sloop. So a sloop is the smallest ship. You can have anywhere between one and two people. <laughs> So, you know, a large range of people on the ship. Um, you can actually, as a solo player, you can you can pilot whatever ship you want, any of the three. But uh, the bigger the ship you get, the more responsibility it is to, to drive it around. So you're probably going to want to have the appropriate crew size. So um, you can you can take your ship and you can go dig up buried treasure. You can uh, you can do these little tall tales like what we're doing right now, which are basically like story missions, but they, they have a lot of puzzles in them. Uh, you can go attack other players and steal their treasure. I mean, there's lots of possibilities. Kirk, my dude, appreciate that. Cheers. See of Thieves am jealous also. Oh, hi. How you doing, man? So, yeah, Poppy, if you have Xbox Game Pass by chance, um, you would have this game that's included in Xbox Game Pass, which I'm a, I, I subscribe to. I'm a big fan of Xbox Game Pass. If you're thinking of Pirate's Life for me, this is the game for you. That's a good that's a good tagline there for sure. Sorry, uh, did we get a shout out in there for Tan at some point? I apologize if we did. Um, but if not, can we get a shout out for Tan? And uh, Tan, what game were you playing? If you did say I missed it, <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, also, I should uh, we should give out the friendship honk. Friendship honks for everybody. I'm thinking we go through this little veil here, but... Yeah, let's do it. It looks pretty. Yeah. Kind of spooky. Thank you, Kirk. Appreciate that. Playing The Sims 4. Awesome. Awesome. Did we chat about this before? I haven't played a Sims game since Sims 2. I'm, uh... I'm behind on the times. <laughs> But I feel like Sims 4 blew up in a way no other Sims game did. Um, I don't know if that's due to uh, YouTube and Twitch or what it is, but yeah. It's been a while since I played. I played a heck of a lot of uh, Sims 1, though. Way back in the day. Sims 2, yeah. Indeed, Poppy. Indeed. Sims 2. Oh, oh is this a wall? Oh, we can't go any further. Oh, no. Okay. All right. No, we're fine. This is fine. All right. Yeah, Poppy, I've heard oh, that yeah. a few things have changed since Sims 2 came out. <laughs> just a few. Just a few things. But. It looks like we're getting off here. Let's do it. Let's explore. Do we, uh, let's see where the compass pointing at. Probably behind us, hopefully. It's on our right. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Oh. I think I played Sims 2 as well back in the day. That's awesome, Coleman. I feel like, if anything, this was the right this was the right thing to do. We saved ourselves a lot of walking. Unless it's like at the beginning again. Oh no, we're good. Yeah. This is it. What was your favorite thing to do in the in the Sims, Coleman? Were you a builder, or did you like uh, did you like? Can I tell you? Can I admit something to you all? And and I hope you don't think poorly of me after this. Um, I had some annoying neighbors that would occasionally come by, and so I would enter build mode, and uh, because I didn't want them like I I wanted like I was trying to focus on myself, you know. I was trying to be the best Sim I could be. And I got these neighbors coming over, ringing my doorbell all the dang time. So what I would do is I would enter build mode when they came over before they rang my doorbell. And I would build walls around them with no doors. Then they couldn't bother me anymore. That's kind of messed up. 
Is it? I was really hoping you'd have my back on that one, Chino. I mean, I'll always have your back, but like, <laughs> I, I, like, I gotta tell you. Uh, <laughs> if you ever want to talk about that, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Think I was a builder and using cheats? Oh yeah, of course, Rosebud. Rosebud, baby. Did you get? Are you able to get the flame of, uh, flame of souls over here? Oh, I didn't even try. Did you do that? Yeah, yeah. Um. Is the oh. candle not on for you anymore? Uh, uh, I may have just taken the candle. It is not. We're probably all right. I mean, right. then again, mine actually. It. I could have just gotten it. Oh. It's hard to tell. Yeah. I yeah, have. It looks like yours is green. I have some, I think it's the uh, Hunter's Call Lantern, which is already a little bit green anyway. But well, this we'll looks just, a little different. We make it, eh? Did I, did I, oh, so Tan, I was just asking, uh, I, I was asking people what their favorite part of The Sims was. Um, but also, I asked what you were playing, uh, which we got an answer to, and hopefully everything was going all right in The Sims world. Building a pool and removing the stairs. Oh, you could do that, but that was, to, that was usually your own Sim. I didn't want to do that to my own sim. I was one of the guys that, like I said, I did it to the annoying neighbors. I built the walls around them with no doors. So they could stop, like, bothering my sim all the time. He's trying to... He's trying to read, you know, research to make him a better, a better at his job, you know? So he'll get paid more. And I got sims coming over, knocking on my door, like, Hey, let's chat! And he's like, oh, come on. So just, you know, the way to do that is you just build walls around him with no doors. And, um, you know... Oh, does it want us to go back to... I, I, I tried going back that way, but it's just a cliff. And I, you can't climb it up. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm thinking this wraps around somehow. I trust you. But I, it's good, because I, I, I don't really trust myself, honestly. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yep. God. Oh, yep. God. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to rowboat it? Yeah, I, I've had a few, uh, I've had a few mugs, if you know what I mean. A few grogs, yes, of course. New, so new to The Sims, still trying to figure things out. I got you. So did you play any of the older Sims games, Tan? Uh, we were saying the last Sims game I played was The Sims 2. And then, uh, really, I didn't play nearly as much of that as I did the original Sims. It's sad that I played The Sims to get the best job I could and never made it out of the coffee shop. <laughs> no, that's. I think that's pretty normal, I'd, I'd say. Sims Confessions. Here goes. One time I was super poor and had a fire, which got rid of the oven in Steph Jr.'s bed and couldn't afford a new one. So the social worker came and I had to trap her in a room and remove the door. <laughs> she glitched in my game for a month until one day she just disappeared. <laughs> oh, goodness. Looks like we're going this way now. Like, hey, you're not taking you're not taking my baby now, are you? <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like I might have I don't know that I ever did something quite like that, but I feel like I definitely uh definitely messed with visitors. We still going you did something exactly like that. That's exactly what you did to the visitors. I don't know. <laughs> But it wasn't a social worker. It was just an, uh, trying to do her job. It was an annoying neighbor coming to, like, just bother me all the time. You're, the neighbor probably had, like, a muffin or, like, a pie. They were <laughs> greeting you to the neighborhood, and you just, like, shunted them into a prison. Yeah, yeah probably. Well, welcome. <laughs> Twelve-year-old me was savage, right? I think it was Sims, too. This is your first experience with The Sims. That's awesome, Tan. Hope, it's been having, hope you've been having a lot of fun with the game. It's... It's been getting, uh, I mean, I've actually not played Sims 4 at all, but it's been getting, I feel like, so big as far as making things more realistic and adding tons of content to it. I think we go here. Oh, oh. maybe I light this lantern. We need a, oh, okay. I think that did something. Hear music. Hmm. That's weird. It's it's got the the green flame, but it's a red light. Oh, look behind us. 
What am I? What am I seeing? You don't see these guys? Oh God, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking creepy. <laughs> How did I not see them? <laughs> I have no idea. Cheers, Kirk. Thanks so much for gifting that sub to Tan. My goodness, you're awesome, Kirk, as well as Tan. Cheers. Once made a hunger. Wait, Hunger Games house. See who can swim the longest by taking away the ladder until one of them croaked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lux Wolf, love your mug. Appreciate that. This is a Sea of Thieves themed mug right here. So it actually is on brand with the game we're playing. Uh, hand painted Sea of Thieves Order of Souls mug here. Um, I don't think I have the Order of Souls mug anymore, but uh, I believe I've got the uh, Obsidian mug or whatever it's called, Ebony mug. But yeah, there's a mug that, that it's based off of. I'll see if I can equip it at some point and show you. I'm alone watching Act Inc. <laughs> Wait, so do we need to turn around and yeah, do they only like show up once you disappear. once you uh lit the yeah, flame? Yeah, right when I lit the flame, they, they okay. all kinda came and they're I think this is I, I feel like this is like Calypso's house. Am I crazy? Ooh, do you remember in the movies where where he got the uh it's where this he one got, here. Like, the sand? I thought she was holding a banana because there was no candle, but no, it's a candle that we're supposed to light. Hey, hey, welcome in, Ams. Morning, morning. Only game-related merch I have is League of Legends hat. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is, it's a hand-painted one. I made it myself uh, at, like, a paint-your-own pottery place. Um, it was uh, it was an ordeal. Oh, there's another one over here, too. I'm not, I'm not very good at artsy-fartsy stuff, so I, you know, that's why it doesn't look the best. Uh, one more. Does that do it? Yeah. Oh, Tia Dama. Yeah, this is where she. This is where he got uh, the sand and stuff for. Oh, okay. When he was facing um, Baby Jones. Gotcha. <laughs> You're not alone. Favorite panel at PAX. Yet you left me hanging on the green flame. <laughs> was a read chat. Okay. Yeah, I, I missed it. I missed it, Nilicious. Hey, what's going on, Nander? Hello there. How are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, this was... Uh, I don't know how I missed all these souls over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe if we... You know, we got to join there. Yeah. Oh. This isn't... I didn't even get a chance to do any, like, good camouflage. I'm just going to do something like this. Did he not actually come out? Kind of rude. Where's my character at? Are you balancing your... Play yeah. Game. Yeah, shovel, <laughs> shovel balance, but... I, uh... I don't know, my character was just gone right there. Yeah, I can, I can see you on my screen, but on your yeah. stream, you're invisible. Certain, oh, there you are. Certain perspectives just disappear. I probably should have hid, though. I should have done something like this. <laughs> Might have been the best. All right, so we hit a checkpoint. Did we get any more? Probably didn't get any more pages in this, did we? Do we yeah, really like need any? Back. We had 18. Yeah. yeah. It looks like we're going back to the ship. I'm going to see if anything changed on the inside of this house. Nah. Hmm. All right. Oh, if you can kind of look through these windows, actually. It's like anything in there. different? No. I don't see I don't see him. I don't see Barbosa, but Okay. Our our barrier is gone, so I suppose we're just supposed to continue sailing. Yeah. Just noticed the haircut. Very nice. Appreciate that, Spooky. Yeah, just got it yesterday. It was due. I actually was uh I was going on an earlier schedule than I had been. And then uh just because of my travels uh, last month, I had to I had to get in there a little earlier than usual, but then I went back to my normal schedule. And I'm like, dang, they're just really should uh, should probably shorten the schedule a bit. It looks like we're going straight on. Uh, 
All right, let me, I guess I'll finish reading these for the, the pirates, uh, noobs like me who haven't seen all the movies. Um, we had brethren court, a council of pirates con convened by song whose members held each held one of them. Nine pieces of eight. The original brethren were tricked into st sealing away Calypso by one of their number. <laughs> Davy Jones. I can't read anymore either. Fountain of youth to live forever is to be truly free. At least that's what the captain thought until he actually went to found and found a way to do it. Better to not know which moment may be your last, he told me. Trident of Poseidon. Once used to control the sea and the creatures that live in it, its destruction freed many a pirate from their curse. Our sea dwellers are not unlike those here in the Sea of Thieves. Mysterious, often misunderstood, and sometimes dangerous. History has let left them with a deep distrust of all outsiders. Jack's Treasure, a trinket filled with mischief, a mischievous magic, the likes of which I've never seen before. If Jones has the treasure, it'll mean no good for the Sea of Thieves. Ooh, Ford of Lost Souls, that sounds ominous. Yarhar Fiddle DD. <laughs> we can sing some pirate shanties. The absence of freedom. Over time and leading a life such as Jack's, you're bound to run into people trying to put borders on the map. But you can run yourself out of trouble and turn the tables with the help of friends, a quick wit, and the right leverage. Sometimes Jack would even get himself caught deliberately, whether to hear rumors of gold, show himself worth more than a paltry bounty, or just prove he could escape. And lastly, the pirate's life. The search for New Horizons has led Jack down many a path, some good, some bad, and some downright peculiar. But mark my words, regardless of how small that his world gets or how little there is in it, there will never be a freer soul. He's led a pirate's life, or two, that's for sure. If anyone can stop Jones and give the Sea of Thieves a fighting chance, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. We just need to find him. When all seems lost, look to the captain's compass for some clue as to your next destination. As long as you truly wish to find Jack Sparrow, the needle will guide you there. Guide you true. All right. Wow, this place is awesome looking. Yeah. What is that emblem? I still really like the, the look of the sun in this uh, oh, nether realm. Yeah, it does look pretty sick. Oh yeah, and I didn't get, I never got any food, so good that this is all here. I think that's supposed to be the Royal Navy, so we're gonna be we're gonna be running into some redcoats here, I think. Oh. Some of your Brothers. kind, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna be outnumbered. <laughs> I might turn on you, I don't know. <laughs> That's true. For the right price. Looks like the Shadow Isles from League of Legends. Oh, is that right? Oh, wait. It it looks like I uh, we got off prematurely here. Oh, really? Oh, no. Little, uh, lantern lighter. The compass always does a full spin before it all... No, it seems all right. Yeah, yeah, I had to light this lantern over here. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to talk about League of Legends here. Don't want to infect the community with the toxics. <laughs> I'm not a Lee. I'm not a lawler myself. Started. Uh, I started the League of Legends club at, at Carthage, actually. Oh, that was you? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. I, I went to... Um, I went in front of student council and I made the case that we needed funding and we literally just like ordered pizzas and uh, I think we, on my senior year, we set up a, um, like a bus, right? it was a shuttle driver, so I shuttled people to a, uh, a League of Legends tournament. It was pretty fun. Nice. That's awesome. Soon may the Wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. I just saw somebody do that, uh, Kirk, while using their, they were using their shovel to dig on top of their ship. It makes a perfect beat. I didn't realize that it could do that. Ooh, it's weird. When I pull up my radial menu, I've got a, uh, pull it like a closed caption that's kind of not really there anymore. Very strange. Team fight tactics oh. is pretty fun though. Just happens to be lol themed. Oh, is that right? Never played that either. Oh. Did <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that open, so when you dropped, I just <laughs> I'm 
What's down at the bottom here? Oh. A lockpick. Nice. Well, it looked like that lockpick didn't help out this guy. Oh, no. No, unfortunately not. Yeah, they're not very, uh, they're not very filling, unfortunately. Um, also hard to breathe through. <laughs> I just heard the word toxic. Did someone call me? <laughs> Um, cool. Now what? Probably one of these things, right? Oh, yeah. Good call. Does this one need one, too? This guy, at least he had some, like... Oh, he was writing. I wonder if we can read this through. What is this? Okay. Uh, hear me out here. This guy was writing, right? So wouldn't these words be backwards? Oh, are they not? Oh, it was too bright. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Unless he's showing it to us, I guess, but... It looks like he was writing it. Yeah. A little bit of a goof there. Uh, here, read this damn journal. That's what it's called. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the lockpick, right. though. Um, Where do we put that? Looks like, oh, maybe we got to fill this up with water because it looks like there's a lock. Well, I don't know if that would work. There's a lock up there. There's down there that we're missing. Oh, there's a hole down here. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. This is a great view. Oh, my, you looking at my dress? <laughs> hey. Uh, here it is. That's how to do. Man. That guy was so close yet so far. Oh, and I didn't even use, or I didn't even uh, lose the lockpick, so I guess we're going to need it again. Looks lockpick like... scale of 100? <laughs> or is it just a skeleton key? Oh, I don't know. Could be a skeleton key. What's that Twitch name for those people who follow a streamer? Wait, what? Follower? Ooh, a, a Captain Jack Sparrow wanted poster. Only 200 gold, though? I mean, come on. For the I mean, Captain that's... Jack Sparrow, 200 gold? A that one like streamer? A oh, there's a... Uh, can you lockpick this, this door? Uh, let's see. I cannot. Probably there's have to a, figure out. Is there, there? It looks like there's a way in from oh, the top. On the roof. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh. I, I, this door. Here. That one's locked. Yeah. I pushed it and it didn't open. Hmm. Yeah, it must be barred. Okay. There's a there's a lock over here and there's a ladder behind it. All right. That'll do. I feel, like, uh, I feel like this is probably worth something, right? Oh. I don't have a lockpick anymore. Oh, my Maybe gosh, they're... you actually broke it? I guess. Jeez. If you're looking for a joke of not following. Just the word. Are we trying to be toxic here, Balinor? Ooh, can we slash this? Oh! -ho -ho. Pirates! Big brain. Oh, what did that do for us? <laughs> okay. All our subscribers? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. More chairs! More tables! They must not enter until we locate this oh. sparrow! This was the door we tried pushing. Jack Sparrow! He, he escaped somehow! Oh, yeah. Then they will never stop! I wonder if there's going to be a lockpick in here. Um, I guess maybe only one of us should go at a time, <laughs> in case there's not. Don't we at least get a trial for our yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, it's not even start. locked. What? It was just... Here's another damned journal. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought loose mob bans people when they typed that. No, 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 it's big follows, no spaces. Big follows, no spaces. It looks like we're we're leaving. That's what all the the um, 
spam bots. That's what they all use as big follows. Trying to get Nidalicious banned. <laughs> Um, maybe we should shoot one of these targets. Maybe both. Nope, that didn't do it. I have no idea how to get him to type that. Uh, yeah, I probably just would have had to ask him to uh, do your best bot impression. It'd be the only thing. It'd be the only way. I can open this. Aha! Oh. I like the aha. All right, come come up here. <laughs> well, Nidalicious, it was good knowing you. He banned himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a bow. Yes, well done. Well done. Oh, man. Oh, my word. That was a terrible sword lunge. I don't know why this, this, uh, did you jump on top of it? Or, I mean, right here, oh. I, I struggled yeah. getting work that time. All right, now this is going to sound wrong, okay? But I need okay. you to get in this cage. Oh, okay, no, no problem. No problem at all. All right, cool. Trust. Are you going to shut it and lock it? Or Oh, okay. I'm in this shit, I'll tell ya. With me brother. Me, me twin brother. Okay. And now uh, I'll need you to lower it and then you get in the cage. Wait, where am I? Wait, how'd you get up here? That, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't um, either, actually. Well, cool. uh, I guess you don't need to get in the cage. We're yeah, going to take one I'm for good. the team. What about the final meal? I take and take and take. I fancy a roast chicken, I do. So, yeah, Nidalicious, I considered making it just a purgeable word as opposed to a bannable word. But it's only ever that, you know, the bots really need banned. So, as opposed to just being purged. So, that's what yeah. she said. Gosh. She looks like we need to open this thing. Or get in there sometime. Oh, all right. The coffee is all gone. I have one more serving of the birthday cake coffee that Mrs. Magoose got me for my birthday. All right. So I think what we do is we grab onto this little flagpole here and we do like a couple spins around it and then launch ourselves up onto the next platform. Yeah. That seems right, right? I got it. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I feel like that's going to be what Jack's going to do because he's going to be able to do things that we can't because he's the best pirate I've ever seen. All right. Um, are you able to... I mean, there's got to be a way that you can raise yourself, right? You know, play uh, the yeah, solo? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's okay. like a counterweight. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. Game the system on this part of it. Is that right? Did you do some sword jumps? Pullman? Um, did we go this way yet? Oh, this is okay. This is gonna be a puzzle of jumping abilities, it seems like. Boy, call me Ezio. <laughs> right. Just launched my, my launched myself out of the ship cannon. Oh, brilliant. Maybe you're the best pirate I've ever seen. You perros want your freedom? The executioner will set you free soon enough. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. So went back into the real progression though. Oh, what a nice, what a nice guy. He didn't want to want to make rare look too dumb. Oh, I'm I'm on. No, we're good. I'm on. Kind of glitched through the ground a little bit. It's fine. Maybe the plot twist of this whole thing is that we're dead. And you didn't glitch Ooh. through the ground. You just phased the foot. Could be. Oh, we got a lighthouse here. Okay. Lady Iron, enjoy the lurk. Appreciate you being here today. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have a fire yet, so we can't really. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. Good point. There we go. Oh nice, well done. 
All right, where do we want to shine this bad boy? Uh, looks like there is a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Got to be lighting those, I'm sure. So I think you have the height and I have the... Yeah, yeah. Oh. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, do we have to hit these candles, too? Oh, that'd be cool. Or maybe they just show how many, uh, how many braziers we have to light. Got to get all the achievements, the good rewards. That makes sense. Did you, did you 100% all of these, Coleman? Uh, is that, oh, we just, is that we just one? one? Yeah, there we go. Is there one uh, down? one down there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. They kind of just look like a rock on a rock. It was a rock. It was a see. rock. Lobster. <laughs> Uh, all the way to the left between the two pillars on our on our left. Oh, here. okay. I see it now. Good call. Comms, comms, comms. Sick. Not quite, but working on it. I got you. I got the first and third at 100%. Very nice. Very nice. Do you get, um, are you getting, um, titles for it? Or are there, like, cool items or anything? I haven't looked at my, uh, my log to see oh. what oh we're gonna have to man the cannons we man in the cannons oh no they're manning they're, the cannons yeah. okay. oh god our ship oh oh no oh those are a lot bigger than our ship <laughs> 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 kind of disrespectful honestly yeah that's not the size that matters okay oh true too true are they going to start shooting or you get some cosmetics, but if you 100% all them, you get the Yoho Yoho shanty. Really? That's a worthwhile. That's a worthwhile cause, I'd say. Um, really nothing else over here, is there? I think we're just supposed to watch the cinematic, probably. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, excuse me. Oh, they're firing. Oh, get him. Are we rooting for the pirates? I think so, right? I mean, do pirates root for pirates or is it just <laughs> like a, you, you hope everybody dies kind of a thing? I don't know. I guess the, the more dead people, the, the greater the treasure per person. Yeah. So. I uh, saw yesterday that Family Guy also had a skit with Iraq Lobster. Those lyrics were different. Or Iraq Lobster. <laughs> um, you guys might find this kind of funny. I found it kind of funny. Um, the uh, the kids I coach, they so during their cross country camp out, they had a uh, you know with the Olympics still yet to start. Uh, at that point, um, we divided the kids up into two teams and then they could be whichever country they wanted to be. Um, and I think I'm pretty sure that uh, the head coach said, well, the head coach is actually on maternity leave. So is her husband taking over. But um, I'm pretty sure that he said that they didn't have to choose a real country if they didn't want. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But of course, you know, being that they're cross country kids, they wanted to be Iran. That was their uh, country of, of choice was Iran. And he said, I have a friend from Iran and it's pronounced Iran. And they said, oh, no, no, we know, but we want to be Iran. So I, I I was like, OK, pretty clever, kids. Pretty clever. Black Dog Briar. <laughs> Dad jokes at that age. Oh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised and delicious. Yeah, we got to be doing something, right? Yeah, I jumped on here because the compass is pointing us back this way. Okay. Yeah, I can't use the cannons either, so. I, 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 don't, I don't know if we're supposed to come down here, but I, I just did. Hey, what's going on, Trip Chance? In England, we say it like Iran, not Iran. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, I think it's the... The true pronunciation is Iran. I'll be honest, I've never had anybody really correct me on that before, but. 
potato potato. Yeah. Oh. Ha! Ah. Are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting. Sword lunge. Yeet! I uh, already shot all of my bullets, so <laughs> I look for a... Thanks. Title of your sex tape? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, does it? Are you are you being serious, uh, Trip Chance? Uh, your message oh. got held by Automod, so I think it'd be, uh... Leave that one up to the mods to choose on whether that one's Dead. acceptable or not, but I think it's I think it's okay. Oh, I got you. Nope, I got you. Brother. You're gonna need to probably get me here in a second, but yeah. you're Iranian? Oh I didn't know that, Trip Chance. You have two friends from Iran now. Yeah, so I um I actually don't know. I think we're supposed to kill this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. We gotta murder these pirates. Oh, headshot! Get wrecked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run back to our ship maybe and get a. Uh, oh, the sandbox box right here. Nice. Um, see if you can get sponsored by Apple. Be Iran. Maybe <laughs> the lowercase I, right? Your I run. Gotta get started early to master them. True, that's too that's too true. It seems like a subtle art. You know, anybody can anybody can can dad joke, but but uh, you gotta truly master. Do we need to? I'm wondering if we need to like, can we destroy their ships, or if we just have to continually fight off? I think it's just a wave thing, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot a cannonball at them real quick, but then I'll be right back. Yeah, go for it. The correct pronunciation is Iran. Iran. Did I say that right? Let's see. I don't know if this will work or not, but. Yeah, it went straight oh through. Okay. Good. Completely? Okay. Iran, huh? And you're not trolling me, right, Trip Chance? You wouldn't dream of it. You never, ever joke when, you, when you're here. Gosh, I'm getting wrecked. Yeah, I know. These guys are spicy. They are. It's my turn now. And run ye so far away. Ooh, good eye. Good eye, matey. Good eye? On that shot you had that guy up there. Oh, yeah. TSM, TSM, TF Thieves. Oh, there's some on uh, the dock. There's one near the dock that might be glitched. No, he might be the last one. Nice. Maybe. Um, we're gonna get another wave. I'll look around and see if anybody else is born in Tabriz. Tabriz. Oh, yeah. Oh man, that dude just juked the heck out of my shot. Well done. I shot her in the butt. Shot her in the buttocks. We've got these ghosty blunderbuss. I don't want to get hit by this. Note to self, make sure to differentiate Aryans and Aryan. Yeah, mod. Yeah, the auto mod is very strange, Coleman. I agree. I could turn it off. I feel like I've got. Pretty adequate protection with uh, loot spot. Oh. I don't really need auto mod. See if I could maybe disable Last that. Fight? Cause yeah, like seriously, just saying the word Aryan, and we have a we <laughs> we have a former teammate yeah. named Aryan, spelled that way. Yeah. Like even just typing his name in in chat is like you can't even say it. And before you ask an delicious, because I know you're going to ask, no, he is not Aryan himself. Oh, got him. I feel like these guys are like sword lunging. Their uh, sword combos are pretty, uh, pretty legit. 
Yeah. Get him? Yeah. Got him. For the latest one, hey, you know what kind of fish that is? Don't be koi. It's a koi fish. <laughs> You ever seen the progressive don't be your parents commercials they they are awesome and hit too close don't those are hilarious those commercials are really funny like is it progress it is progressive isn't it those are like the only good commercials they do though their other ones are just pretty terrible nice well done Alrighty. where's this thing setting us off to now what time is it 9 50 oh okay Right. I might, might be okay for a little bit longer. I do have another morning meeting today at 10.15. No problem. Uh, it looks like we're, we're setting sail again. Indeed. I like Flo, too. She's progressive. You like you like Flo? Yeah, I've never been a big fan of the Flo commercials. There's a, I can't remember the, the car maker, but there's a, there's a car company um, where this guy, like, he goes out camping in the car and he parks up next to a guy that's fishing. And uh, the, the guy's, like, cat gets out of the car and, like, starts, like, playing fetch, grabs, like, a, grabs, like, a fish or a yeah. fish or something <laughs> like that. And comes back and my guy's just the, the fishing man just says like, oh my god, that's amazing. He's like, <laughs> right. oh yeah, it's the new, it's the new like Ford Ranger or whatever it <laughs> right, is. Exactly, yeah. He's like, no, that, it's our awesome that. tailgate. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a cat. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on with our rowboat. Do does it exist or does it not exist? Because it's got like, like I'm seeing the ropes for it being moored here, but no rowboat whatsoever. Maybe they don't want us to have a rowboat anymore. Oh, it is under the boat. You see that? Am I crazy? Wait. Uh, I, I don't see it. Oh, it's like under the boat for me. Yeah, I, I guess the the ghosts have claimed the rowboat. It is now a ghost <laughs> rowboat. Never seen that before, Coleman. All right, we are. Oh yeah. Let me give us some some windy sails here. And give us some we're some spice on these. Right. Oh, we're probably going through those lanterns. Oh. All right, I will give you some less spicy sails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crash. This is gonna be a crash worthy. Uh, uh, we, we got it. Uh, we, we got, got it. it. This is fine. Right, yeah, this I is fine. This is fine. Uh, we're a little deep here. It was a nice little tight turn. Oh, yeah. Super snug. Boom. Miles, miles across the sea. I don't know that that counts. This isn't really the sea. The Dead Sea. All right. Still got us going straight ahead. I see some jagged rocks up there. Oh, it's oh. changing again. We're going out. Oh, there's a little cove. Yeah. Cove yeah. yonder. Is that not a good mm. term for you? Oh, ghosty ship. Some ghosty yeah. boys over there. Any good loot over there? Oh, they do have a ladder, though. wonder if it's climbable. Oh, I put myself into the cannon. Okay. I like it. Bold strategy. Yeah, it must just be, like, shepherding us into that cave. Yeah. They, uh, they, I feel like these do more hand-holding than uh, a lot of the other tall tales. Lock it. 
You try to shoot it, I'm gonna block it. Alright. I'm gonna want it bend it around you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna ring the bell of friendship from all the way back here. Ooh. If we're both up here, who's sailing the ship? Safe. So yeah, pretty much full sails here. Yeah. The wind. We're looking good. And we're going. I mean, have you ever have you ever come into a cove like this? It's usually super windy. <laughs> true, it's true. It's like my uh, you DJ summoning horn now is the goose honk. Wherever wherever you DJ is, no matter what he's doing, I send out the honk of friendship, and I know that he'll he'll hear the call. Nice little waterfall. Hmm. We gotta be careful with coves like this, though. Have you have you ever seen the Guardian? The Guardian? Yeah. Um, like a like a uh, National Guard uh, movie with um, Ashton Kutcher. Huh? No, it's not ringing any bells. Let me tell you, it it it, it terrified me of coves like this. Oh gosh. Okay. He was on the can uh, when he heard it. He may even wipe. Thanks. <laughs> Not the most intimidating call to battle, but it works. Oh, of course. Here's the thing, though. He doesn't know about the Carthage Dees, though. So. Pretty intimidating battle call, honestly. Oh, I forgot you put a you put a cursed cannonball in the cannon because I'm like our cannon is all of a sudden glowing pink. <laughs> How'd you get those cameras in my house? <laughs> well, I'm liking the faith. pink and green vibe. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, well, we should do. We should light our. Uh, we should light all of our lanterns with the. Uh, oh yeah. The new flame. Yeah, that's looking good. The vibe. This is like a pirate RNG, or what is it? Um, Strike your colors, you blooming cockroaches! Surrender, Captain Jack Sparrow! Or by that's weird. Burn the city to the ground. I feel like we should be moving faster, considering our uh, our sails. Sail, yeah. But. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the sails though, so we can get the full cinematic. All right. Yeah, it's like I'm just steer jerking left and right just to keep us straight. All right. All right. So good idea. We're gonna go right in between these two ships firing cannons at each other. My boy Barbosa, indeed. Probably gonna need these actually. Late on your monthly fee, they're throttling your speed, oh gosh. This isn't an Activision game, this is rare. Ooh, no, you're doing some, that one hit. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess we're saying screw you, Barbosa. Yeah, we're, we're on Jack's side for sure. Here, I'll raise sails so you can just keep lighting them up. Hey, he's not even firing back. Go ahead and park here. Kind of sounds like Mike Myers doing a pirate voice. You think so? Just don't have the range. Wonder if he. Uh, wonder if he likes being set on fire. What do you think? I'm gonna try to capture him. Oh, good idea. Always the best idea. I think I got him. All right. Nothing else. I'm going to see how he likes to be set on fire. What? It's Jack the cannonballs will hit, but the the fire bombs just go right through. Run up your white flag, oh, it looks like we're going we're going inland. And 
Okay. Oh, this would be a... This is a prime... Prime chance to uh, see what the cannons can do here. Oh, firing yourself? Oh, yeah. May your aim be true. Whoa! Just how I planned it. Just how I planned it. <laughs> Don't know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is I actually a fairly that. long tail. That's pretty good. I and I got 15 minutes left. Do you think we can? Do you think we can finish this whole town in 15 minutes, Coleman? <laughs> Yeet! Yeah, we just yeeted the heck out of ourselves. We landed perfectly on these battlements over here. Uh, any further, and I'll I, if I can, would, I'll see if I can find a spot that I just come to you. There is a path. Yeah. Anything good it here, Pommies? Like oh. oh, everything okay? I, 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 I'm cringing. Um, let's just go this way. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Oh, you found Jack? Yeah, I'm like chasing him. Okay. I'm somewhere where we're definitely going to have to be at some point because there's an ammo chest and materials up. and stuff. Um, and there's a door. Oh, this door leads somewhere. I can tell. Okay, but I can't go through it. Probably Jack's going to have to open it. Uh, let's see. Should I ring the bell? No? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I tried. All right, I'll start. I'll start, I'll start coming that way. Okay. Also, don't even remember that area. I feel like it's it's supposed to happen, right, Coleman? Didn't it seem like it. Ah, I found him again. Found a bunch of ghosty uh, friends here. One guy's carrying a chandelier. One lady's got a uh, bust, potentially of herself. Um, we got a grandfather clock, a portrait. Hmm. Probably went through it. We spent a lot of time in this town looking for things. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure there's plenty of places to hide things. This town is cool, though. It'd be cool if this was like a, a town you could go to anytime. How do I get up there? Oh! Oh! Hey! So, to kind of fill you in, Jack went through that gate. Which one? The gate over here? Yeah, the big gate. Right in okay. Here. So I'm thinking we have to get up on top of the battlements, and I think I'd do this. Oh, okay, those ropes are not jump jump through E. Um, yeah, it looks like some things are gonna pop out of here. Daddy Faye, appreciate the follow. Cheers. Welcome in. Hey, can I uh Yeah, some things are gonna pop out of the wall here at some point. Maybe this will help. Ah, okay. I'm guessing these don't stay out, though. Oh, they're cannons. Okay. Maybe they will stay out. All right. Let's see. How could I? How could I assist you in getting up here? Is there? There's a lever right here. Can you use that. Ah. Okay. Uh. Let me. Let me try. I think this would work. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay, and there's uh, one right here. Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did that one. Hog. Solid. All right. 
Is this looking good? There he is. Aha. Uh -huh. Best pirate I've ever seen. Look at that. Um, I have a thing in my calendar on Monday, 9 a.m. to 12. It's just labeled thing. I have no <laughs> recollection of what it is. Oh, gosh. What do you plan to do then? Oh, wait, is this? Okay, not quite the door I saw. I have a feeling now that the door I saw is actually not one that we're going into, but we're going to be exiting from. I have a feeling now. <laughs> Always the dogs. Ah, oh, we need a key. Yeah, this is the this is the one I no, is it? No, not quite. Oh, well, maybe. A key. Where is the key. <laughs> the location of this thing is somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh. Puppy paws. Hmm. Is there another way in there? Or do we have to have the dog go in somehow? I got it. Oh, you got it? I think the dog died. No. It has none. It has no no uh, location. Remember, I booked it so I wouldn't get booked for other meetings at work. So it's on your work calendar? Is that what you said? Or just, I don't know if it's a work or a personal calendar. Nope. Okay, that was not the door. Pulley here, pulley there. Two pulleys. Okay, that one moves that. This one moves. Okay, all right. So probably got to position them relatively. Oh, it tells us where to position it. It's like. Okay. So we want that one a little bit more to the left. We go to this side. Looks like there's a pulley over here. There's stairs to get there. Oh, yeah, yeah I see the pulley. I'll go. Oh. Um, if there's not a button, maybe try slashing it. I have a cloud stream that evening, but it's 8 to 12. No idea about 9 to 12. Huh, okay. I'm thinking we needed to get, like... Uh, up on top of the ledge to the right here. Okay. Um, hmm. And there has to be a way now that I've fallen off. Like this. Yeah, how far over does this platform oh. move? It moves a decent amount, but... There's a lever back this way. I don't think this oh, is okay. the right way, though. <laughs> it's not the Mike Lindell Cyber Symposium, because that ends tomorrow. <laughs> that I would have remembered. Oh, gosh. Okay, it was on your work calendar. Huh. Oh, I'm outside. Do we have to... I mean... I think you already tried shooting these, but... Maybe we got to jump on those somehow. Can we jump on them from here? Oh, missed the jump. I wonder if they're jump onable though. No, no, we can't. I already, you just face right through the barrels. Oh, the barrels? Yeah, I already Dang. tried that. Okay. Is this rowboat usable? Uh, no, there. I think we have to take a rowboat through here eventually though, hmm. because I just opened up a gate at the end. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep going. That's a tricky little puzzle. Some pigs here. Oh, there's a platform in there. Okay. Yeah, you might. If you're working your way back towards me, you're probably doing something right. There's another platform over here. 
it's oh, on a pulley. I'm just swimming down this. I probably, I, I don't think they're gonna make us swim all this way, so I'm gonna come back. Gosh, I'm, my jumps are terrible right now. And the ladder's not working properly. <laughs> if I get to the top of it, I'm like falling. Yeah, I think if I can jump over there, I'm going to try to sword lunge this. Yeah, I think this is something over here. Oh, yeah, I got to chop this this over here. I probably could have shot that, eh? Yeah, you're probably right. There is a walkway over here, it seems. Yeah, we probably shoot that and then are able to jump over. Yeah. A kind of a long area here. Okay. Do a little, uh, oh, Jack's behind us. Found a bucket with a key in it. Nice. Oh, yeah. The animation of Jack opening this door, he chucks the key into the well. Oh, perfect. Dang. Oh. Look at that. Toast to piracy and its many shiny rewards. I humbly accept this magnificent treasure as my reward for a life of villainy, larceny, skullduggery, and persnickety. <laughs> Drink up, me heart is your ho. <clears throat> oh, he just realized he doesn't want the treasure. Hmm. I mean, we should take a couple of these gold bars at the very least. They look ethereal? No, they're real. Wow. I mean, all of this, right? I'm guessing... I found him. That means yeah, this was the door I was at. Okay. Yep. So this is where I was when I launched myself in the cannon. Okay, okay. Speedrunner. Skipped a few parts. There was there were no ghosty boys up here though, so that's kind of the problem. Uh the fight. Ooh. Boom. <laughs> Dead. You best start with the did we hit? We didn't hit a checkpoint recently, did we? Uh, when we opened the treasury. Seen, I haven't seen any of those like checkpoint things. Now. Oh, they're burning the town! Come on, this place is nice. Oh, there's a book right here. Oh, I already jumped down. Uh, if you want to get it, I'm sure. I'm sure if we get back to the ship, you could always just use the cannon. <laughs> It'll take you pretty much right there. It's already aimed. We gotta fight our way out of the town, it seems like. Alright, I got a few more bombs on me. Oh, these guys aren't a one shot anymore. Oh, this door? Door moved. Here's another journal. Oh, there are five of these journals. Dang, okay. Oh, it's okay to make dad no, jokes if you're not making not bad actually. jokes. Is that right? All right, what about bad dad jokes? Is there such a thing? Ooh. Oh, ammo crate here? Oh, that was a big lunge. You said you found an ammo crate? Yeah, yeah. Right here. Okay, nice. Or sad jokes. Sad dad bad jokes? Oops. 
by a little the ghosty music is kind of cool. Yeah, spooky, scary skeletons. Time for some fun. Nice. Oh, we got two more. Ooh, I missed all those. Amazing going through two years of pay stubs and totally money made, which versus what you actually have to show for it. Oh, I know. Totaling the money that you've made. I know, right? And I don't know how it is in Canada, but I know it's it's a big kick in the in the nuts in the US for sure. Alright, I think nice. we got him. Yeah, I think this door, this door just opened up now. We have nothing left to steal. Oh, it did? Wait, no, it's telling us to go this way. Didn't we come from this way? Am I crazy? Um... Might have on your way in. Housing here's the big killer. Oh, is that right? Housing. Ooh, my meeting started. <laughs> well, it's fine. Oh, this is gonna be. Yeah, we're kind of trapped in here till we kill them all. Big dog, something. Black dog. Black dog. You kind of surrendered last time. True. True. Oh. You won't be so lucky this time. That is fast. He should have fled when you had the chance. Oh, he's behind the dress. Coward. <laughs> I'd mind your mannequins. <laughs> yes. Got him? Nice. He's only the second out of five Phantom Captains. $1,100 reduced per month for a one bedroom. They're trying to call a two bedroom in <laughs> the ghetto literally a dressed up attic. Uh, and that's competitive market price. Dang. Me being an Iranian actually makes me feel good because of my last name, which has two parts, Proud and from Blackstone. Really? Proudly from Blackstone? Oh, okay, that's a checkpoint there. I might have to... Might have to, uh... Yeah, I might need to drop out. As unfortunate as it is. Um, but, uh, if you're, if you're around tomorrow, we can finish this up tomorrow. Yeah, I'm down. And uh, should be able to start on the next one. I don't know how much further we got. I don't know if the next one's long, but maybe we can knock them both out. I believe. I I don't know how to... Let's see, it's under quests. Oh, okay, okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting line break here. Um, so if you go under your quest and then you, you've got like the tall tales, so all you like, I guess this just stays in your inventory. So then when we get back yeah, on the boat next that. time, we just propose it. Okay. His comp ass points the way. That's an interesting uh, line break there. A little bit of an unfortunate one. Out of that. <laughs> all right, brother. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate you jump, jumping in again. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. See you guys. See ya. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers up for Hot Cheeto, everybody, for joining us today once again. Cheers up. Appreciate ya. And my friends, we got to get to the tavern for a very quick drink. Uh, and then I'm off to my morning meeting. Big love tomorrow we get the booty. Of course, of course.
Second shot got moved from mid-September to Saturday. Oh, nice. There you go, Nidalicious. Hope your body's ready. Was that the thing? I know it's not the thing, but that'd be cool. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, let me hold this here just in case. Uh, let me show some love real fast. And then I must go. Um, I might do a raid and run, because when I get raided, I like to pay it forward. We might do that. Coleman, thanks for hanging out being the mod for the day. We got followers from Daddy Faye, FluxWolf31, Only One Mike C, uh, subs from the True Celt and Tan, Hercules with the host, as well as a raid from Tan. Seriously, appreciate it very much. Very, very much. Um, had a really good time playing, as always. As always. And I appreciate y'all for being here. Uh, tomorrow, we're back in Sea of Thieves. Gonna finish up Tall Tale number three. Potentially start on, well, might as well start on Tall Tale four with the checkpoints and whatnot, so. You enjoy the rest of your day too, Tan. Thanks so much for bringing your friends in. Uh, much, much appreciated. I'm gonna try to find somebody to raid. I am gonna have to raid and run, but um, I like to pay it forward when I get raided, so I need to do that. Might just find another Sea of Thieves streamer. Uh, somebody, uh, somebody new that we've never, never met before. Let's see if we can find somebody real quick. Who's gonna win the lottery of me scrolling here? This person, you've won the scrolling lottery. Looks like she's holding up a kiwi. Okay, yep, yeah, she's got it. She's got it. Uh, we're going to raid this individual. Pay for Tan's raid. Thank you once again, Tan, for dropping in. Seriously, great to hear from you. And uh, appreciate you appreciate you bringing your friends. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. I got to get to this meeting. Um, tomorrow, we are doing more Sea of Thieves, and we'll finish it up. So, um... Uh, I would recommend Lady Paints a lot. Oh, I got you. I got you. Um, I would. I would. I'm just. I got a raid and run anyway. Um, so I feel. I already feel, feel kind of bad about that. But um, my friends, thank you so much for being here. We'll be back tomorrow. Stick around for the raid. Say hello to somebody. Um, especially because I'm not really gonna be able to say hello too too much. But uh, um, we're gonna we're gonna spread the love here just a little bit. Appreciate y'all. Bye. Yeet.